Hello ladies and gentlemen, Q here with a quick video, this time a tutorial for how to implement Gauss Visual Novel Choices into a game. Uh, this comes via a request made by user Ismis49, and it's been a long time coming, I do apologize for the delay, but real life gets in the way. Um, to start with, you want to have your game, um, if you've already started working on the game, you want to have your game folder accessible, so I'm lazy, so I'll just put it up here on the desktop. And instead of copy and pasting the script from here, what you want to do is go ahead and download the demo. That's going to make it easier for you to work on your project and so once you've downloaded the demo you go ahead and unzip install and that's going to help you extract all the files that you're going to need including the script and a couple of visuals that you will need to transfer into your folder so here we have the visual novel choice folder here we have our game folder and the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and look at graphic systems notice how we have the choice icons here as well as a cursor we want to take that and put it into the graphics folder for our game so let's go ahead and copy that into our system we're going to go ahead and overwrite and now we have those image files in our game folder now that does not mean that the script is still uh, is activated yet. Let's go ahead and close that demo and open up our project. Keep in mind that this script is only compatible with the VXACE engine. It does not work with XP or with MV. So um, just let's go ahead and copy the test island from the source into our game let's go ahead and put it wherever here that'll do paste and here we have the test island let's go ahead and set our character starting position here and now what you want to do is go to the demo game the visual novel choices which is this one and you open up the script editor you scroll down a little bit and here you'll have gals novel choices this is the course script and the patch for name boxes. You're going to want to copy both of those things into your script setup. And here I already have a couple of scripts set up for my game. So let's just go ahead and maybe insert a couple of spaces and call this one Gal. We go ahead and we copy the visual novel choices. We paste it into our existing game. We copy the patch and whenever you're pasting scripts into your game, you want to make sure that they are above the main process. If you put them below the main process, they're not going to be active. Um, now I should note that I do have a couple of scripts already activated for this demo, so uh, there might be compatibility issues. I don't think that there should be any. So let's go ahead and see how this shakes out. Go ahead and press play. We want to save the changes. Move the window over to this side and mute the audio. And let's go ahead and click on new game. And of course we don't have a sprite because I haven't set one up, but I can still talk to people. And here we have the visual novels being implemented. I say something really long right here. There's nothing, just a test. And so I should be standing somewhere around here. Uh, the game that I'm working on, it starts off with an invisible character. That's why you don't see anything here. So I move right up, and now I should be talking to this guy who's going to give us different colors, blah, blah, whatever. And so now if I move right up, up, left, I'm talking to the guy on top who tells us a couple of other things. Nothing leaving now. And so if now I click up left left down i'm talking to the guy on the left who gives us different options including the little icon here so you've seen how to implement the script into your own game you find the original demo in galv script download page you copy and paste the test island so that you can 
uh, see that it works, so I can make sure it works in your game, and then you copy both of the script boxes into your game, into the script editor up here above main. All right, so if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. This has been Q, and I will see you next time.